Uh, very excited. Uh, everybody's pumped up. We're all pumped up. I think uh, uh, we've had a good summer. Um, it's, it's been good momentum for us. Uh, we want to continue to grow as a team and um, we're really excited about, about the season. Uh, the guys are. I've met with all of them at one point or the other and uh, everybody's excited, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. There are different expectations this year. Last year, everyone was talking about, you know, what draft pick to get. This year, they're talking about defending a, a division, a division crown. Yeah, we want to go into the season uh, uh, growing as the team we did. You know, we brought back pretty much the same team, and um, we, we want to keep growing gradually. And um, I know, yeah, the expectations are high, but that's what comes with winning, and uh, we know that we're going to uh, we're going to go in there and compete and try and uh, um, be a good team, be a better team even than than last year. You know, what are the expectations? Um, we want to win. Uh, it's just that simple. What do you say to the fans who are really behind this team that are hoping for more than uh, the first round of the playoffs? Um, like I said, we're going to try and win. You know, um, but the NBA season is long. You don't know what. Uh, it, it, there's always issues. There are many things that will come at us, and it's how we react to that and how we continue to build and grow. We still have young players, same players. Um, we'll, we'll see where. Um, we need to add if we if we do, but uh, we really want to grow as a team and we want to win. So uh, they're gonna go out there and compete. You mentioned bringing back the same team. Uh, you know the new CBA is sort of rigged to make sure that doesn't happen, and you've got your top seven minute guys back. How is that an advantage? Um, well, we feel continuity is is big for us, and consistency is is really big for. Uh, for winning teams and uh, I think uh, that formula has proved to work and we hope that it works with us. Um, uh, these guys, are uh, they like each other, we have a chemistry, they compete, uh, they go out there and play for each other. Um, we're not a selfish team. Uh, so, uh, But the young guys continue to grow and the platform continues to be there. I think that's very important for us. <coughs> Damar and Jonas uh, took big steps forward last year, a couple of uh, young guys. Do you think that they have more to give this year? Uh, well, I'm hoping so. Um, I, I think there's been growth. If if we sat here uh, last year at this time, and who would have said Damar would be an all-star, uh, USA basketball gold medalist, um, played very well in the, in the playoffs, first time he played in the playoffs. So. Um, there's growth all the, all the time, and he's working hard, and his perseverance, I thought, during USA Basketball was huge. And going out and, and watching them is, is funny. I met with Damar, and um, <laughs> the first thing he says to me was, um, I asked him what he has learned from this experience there, and to show you how he's matured as a, as a person even, he said um, he respects players that, um, that come off the bench more. Um, just because that's what he did there and he said he would treat the guys that come over, he treats them great anyway, but he says he has more respect and would treat them with more respect um, because of what they have to do night in, night out when they are called upon. So I thought that was um, great maturity on his part. Jonas has, he continues to grow. He went, saw a running coach this summer in, in Oregon, football coach. Uh, uh, taught him a couple running techniques and um, Worked with Akeem and uh, a couple times this summer, and he had the national team. So I think it's a, a it's good summer for them. But for the whole team, it's been it's been good. Kyle Lowry has been uh, phenomenal. You see him is um, he's in unbelievable shape. Um, and these guys, they took they took the summer serious. You know, um, you win games in the in 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 the regular season, but you get better in the summer. Um, that's, and I think it's important for our ball club. Just going into the season, are you happy with this roster you have to start, or are there things that you particularly are looking for to strengthen the team? <laughs> we are, we're always crazy uh, in, in our heads, you know, like it's, um, you're always thinking of ways of for a team to get better, but this is, um, uh, I think we're, we're happy and we'll go in and, and play to our strength, strengths and, um, you know, uh, whatever comes up, we, it's our jobs, and we're put in this position to to fix it. So um, we'll try and 
we, we try and get it done, but we're excited about uh, about the team. But it's still a growing process, I think, for us. Is there one area of concern that you want to address maybe more than others heading into camp? Um, now we're open-minded, you know, like just give guys room to, um, uh, to do well. And um, I think with every basketball team, you're, you're, you're going to see us um, I try to think of ways to get better, but if there's anything I can think about right now, um, defensively I think we we try to get better. Um, offensively I think we try to get better. Um, defensively adding James Johnson, offensively maybe even adding like a Lou Williams. Um, so we'll see we'll see how it plays out and how these guys uh, uh, start out. Any predictions uh, so far on the record? Uh, I don't do predictions. <laughs> Unfortunately, we want to. Uh, we're hoping to win and 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 grow as a team. But um, the NBA is full of surprises, issues, um, growing pains, adversity. We're ready. You know, it's our jobs to fix, and uh, we'll keep we'll keep grinding it out. I think building the culture of this team was most important, and I think we've we've tried to build that. Uh, on the ground going up, so uh, uh, don't do predictions. <laughs> Are there any Sorry. young players that you're really excited about? Um, any new additions that you're? It's going to take a while, I think, with with uh, with Bruno and Bebe and all those guys. You know, like uh, we got them to grow as a uh, with our team, and it's going to take them a while. Um, I think they said on draft day that they are 10 years away from being 10 years away. So we'll, we'll, be, pa we'll be patient. We'll be as patient as we can. And, uh, but we feel they have, uh, they have good potential. But uh, also, like you saw in Summer League, it, there'll be, there's, there's great talent there, but there'll be growing pains too and ups and downs. For their purposes, is it nice that you sort of have more of a set rotation so you can let them grow in the margins? Yes, I think it's good. I think it's uh, one of the reasons we got those guys is for them to experience uh, NBA practices and experience NBA uh, players. We sent them to work out with uh, some of our players uh, in the summer. They went to Gurk's camp. They did summer league. They went to Vancouver to try and work on getting stronger. Uh, they've had a, a gruesome summer, uh, which is uh, I think is, is good for them. But that learning experience continues, I think, throughout uh, the next the next couple of years, but um, even in the starting lineup, we're young, you know, um, with Jonas and Terrence, and, and it was still a young team. So uh, we we just wanted to put those increase our maybe our talent level a little bit, but it's gonna take it's gonna take them time. With Bruno and the D League part of their development this season, possibly. Yes. Yes, for sure. Um, they'll, from time to time, we'll see a string of games where we can, uh, we, we can, we can go uh, send them down. But um, uh, we will, we will definitely uh, uh, have them in, in the D League at, at different times. Is there a bit of a regret on the part of the organization that you're not one of the 17 teams that have an exclusive affiliation yet? And is that a goal for the organization moving forward? Uh, I don't regret anything, honestly. You know, we don't we don't do regrets here. We we just try to build and and grow. And if if issues come come up, we try to solve. We are trying to resolve that issue, though. To answer your question, we are. Um, I think our organization have a great interest to hybrid. We have great interest to buy, but it has something. It has to make sense for us um, in terms of location. Uh, it's no makes no sense buying a team in the West Coast. Uh, want to figure out something close to us, and we feel maybe in the next uh, in the next couple of years we'll get there. But it's strong on our list, and we we'll, we will we will be aggressive uh, to to get that done. You talked about the, the strides that Demar made last year in the All Star World, the whole year, the All Star appearance, the, the USA basketball. But is there sort of any doubt in, in your mind that, that the sort of you know emotional heart of this team is still Kyle, and he's the guy who's going to kind of make things tick? He's the bull, you know, like, and uh, the, every, I think it's, it's clear, you know, um, but Damar is also the same, the same way. And it's funny, he's growing into, uh, they, they always talk about each other and, and, and even rubbing off of, off of each, each other, but they're, they're both very aggressive. Uh, Kyle shows a little bit more, um, I think, because of his demeanor. And even Damar's demeanor is a little bit more laid back, but... 
Um, as far as competing, you know, like um, that's what you want in sports. You know, we want to win. We want to win. Uh, we want to win here, and we want to win big here. And whether it's now building for the future, those guys um, have shown last year. I think that they can be aggressive. They can go out there and compete um, with the better teams and the better players in the NBA. So this year it's no different. And I think um, Kyle leads that charge al along with Demar. How much do you think it'll help Demar being with the U.S. Olympic squad over the summer to help this game? Uh, I think it does. I asked him so many questions when uh, when I went to watch them play. And um, like I told the first one, he's, he's grown uh, a lot. He, he told me, um, I asked him a couple of the things that he learned there, and he said, just leading, you know, leading a team when you have so many guys um, with great talent on one team, you, you watch uh, you watch everybody, and um, it's, 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 inter it's going to be interesting how he, uh, he translates that to his, his own basketball team. Aaron's roster starting his third season. What kind of growth are you picking from him this season? He's had a phenomenal summer, um, not, not only on the basketball court, but even maturing like as a kid. You can, you can see he's become more confident. He's, um, uh, and um, he put on a little bit of weight, which he'll tell you guys about, I'm sure. <laughs> um, but um, that, that gives you confidence, you know, and, and um, I think when we looked, went back and looked at his performance in the, in, in the playoffs, I think people look at, oh, not making shots, but defensively, I think he helped us and he grew as a player. That experience is going to help uh, help him grow even more. Uh, working out in the summer with Damar and uh, even other players, uh, Terrence has always been present and was always uh, communicating well with us. And um, I, I, I'm positive that we would see growth, <laughs> growth in him. Kyle said he's replayed the last play game seven a million times. Obviously, it's a tough way to lose, but do you think that that can kind of have a positive effect on these guys going forward in their motivation, kind of remembering what happened there? Yes, for sure. It's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's always a tough way um, to, to lose just any way. Any way you lose a basketball game is, is losing the basketball game. But that uh, left some taste in your mouth where um, I think when I left that gym that, that day, I felt um, you f you feel disappointed, but you also feel like um, yeah, you know, like we're we're starting to understand, you know, and I, I could feel that from uh, from the team, uh, from the coaches, uh, from the fans, just from overall the city, the culture. Um, we hope we hope to continue to build uh, off of that and. That happens to the best of them, you know. It happened to San Antonio. The example we give, it happened to San Antonio a couple uh, years ago. They were a rebound away from winning a, a, a championship, come right back and win a championship. That's resilience, that's um, fighting adversity, that's, that's coming back and being a killer. And that's what uh, we want to try and be. That last season is done, guys. You know, we. We don't we we don't want to live on last season. Uh, we want to build a winning culture here, and uh, hopefully we can do that.